doesn't really look like it, but I've been cleaning up my uh, solar compartments, where all my solar components are. Uh, here at the bottom is my berry box, so my two berries will go in here. And all the components are out here. I just replaced my solar controller to the left side here. I got a breaker box that breaks both my solar controller between my solar controller and the solar panels as well as between the solar controller and the batteries got my fuse box here got two bus bars here and I'm already been working on two bus bars, two large bus bars here these two this one and that one they will get uh, cables from the inverter charger that will go on the back wall. Then cables to a disconnect for two batteries that will be placed here on the left hand side. Another decision I have to make is I got a generic solar controller. It's been working fine, so that's that's not the big deal. Um, but. I might replace it with the Victron. Uh, the Victron is a little bit smaller in size and it also has, uh, instead of a separate monitor, uh, it has uh, Bluetooth, which I like very much, the same as with the batteries. So I might replace that, may not. So for the time being, those cables will be loosely installed. Um, and the third decision I still have to make and it will go here on the left hand side as well is a DC to DC charger so that I can charge my batteries from the alternator I got a larger size alternator 235 I think and what I'll do now is uh, put in a fan I repurpose a <laughs> former computer fan and I want to put that in here just below that inverter when it gets hot I want to have at least some airflow going on in this case from the top to the bottom touch up with some polyurethane. I'm gonna install this switch box. Now some cleaning. I got my fan here, put it on a piece of plywood and I'll insert it from the bottom and attach it there. The next is a 250 amp bus bar. I'm going to put down my first cable that I already made. That's in this case a number two gauge. Yep. I have a small solar controller that I use for uh, different panels that I lay out in the sun. Um, so those are just occasionally connected uh, and I don't want to put it on the system that I have. Most of the time that's not in use. Okay. Now I have to guide them to these two bus bars. Positive lead. Got that 
connected to a separate fuse. It's time to put the batteries in. That's heavy. So now I first have to connect the BMS. That should be okay. I don't have much height, so as you can see, but that works. Let's see if we can secure it to the floor. So I already did one with a 5 16th inch of a hole and now I'm doing the other one that needs 3 8 of an inch hole. That works fantastic. Unfortunately, because of the lack of space, I have to do it a bit on just by feeling my way around. But that shouldn't be an issue because once it's installed, that is probably not an issue anymore. So this one is okay. Now I have to connect it to the switch. And this is a what is it, two or three way switch, how do you want to call it? Four way switch even. Uh, got one output. So that's the one that is already there, going to these bus bars. And I got an input for battery one and an input for battery two. So I can switch to off, I can switch it to the first battery, to the first and the second battery, or just the second battery, or off again. So that gives me a little bit more leeway if something happens later on. Uh, this one will be my first battery. That works, that works. Now I have to continue with the negative wire. Where is my black wire? Okay, hopefully my, at least for now, <coughs> my final connection. So I've got my one battery connected, I'll disconnect it first. We have to be careful, of course, that there's juice on there. And I'll switch off my 
solar, so there's no juice coming in here. But there is still juice on this one. That should be fine. That's connected and it's off. So now we go one floor lower to the battery. Clean things up a little bit and then connect the BMS, turn it on with the switch and everything should be working. I'll get my phone and look at the Bluetooth. Probably the next step is an inverter at the back of the cabinet. What I'll do now first is I'll connect the so uh, the BMS and that powers up the battery then I switch on number one and then one and two so now I should have both batteries connected let me check that first okay I see both batteries appearing with strong signal and let me see I'll take my first battery first and that's the one in the back that I already had connected what do I see then I'll connect my solar It's charging no amps to the batteries, and that is uh, probably correct, which at first didn't make much sense because there's at least a few amps that could go in them. But of course, I reprogrammed my solar charger to not charge more than 80% into my batteries. But for now, nothing has blown up. Everything looks well. I'll keep them connected. I'll be using it a little bit more see whether the cables are hot or not hi guys this is Joey and we're building a one-of-a-kind RV thanks for watching our YouTube channel if you enjoyed the video give us a like and subscribe or better yet uh, leave a comment thanks guys You've done a good job